my name is Imidi Martins. I'm 13 years old. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. I want to teach you on how to program a robot using the NXT program. Robots are like machines that when given an instruction, follow. The instruction given, they do follow it, but it depends on the program you put on it. Depending on your sensors, because there are different types of sensors. The touch sensor, light sensor, ultrasonic sensor, and other different types of sensors. But here, I want to program my robot to moving into the square shape. When you go to your level milestone, this is the page to review which will be granted to you. Here is the move, the record play, sound, display, weight. The weight here depends on the type of sensor you want, the distance, the sound, light, touch, and time. Here is the loop. The loop meaning repeating it and the switch. I have to move my gear into my drafts. Here yeah, is just like the draft where I have to make and correct my mistakes back. After that, I'll be giving an instruction here on depending on the type of movement I want my robot to move. Depending on it making a square, it has to move forward first and I'm making it of the loop so it will continue to go around. It's moving forward. Then I have a turn button here which will actually make my robot to turn and a backward movement, which I'm trying to make my robot move backward. And this is how my robot could move into a square shape. You could program it into different other types of things, depending on your weight or your display. You could have a display here to show when your robot moves, an image to come on, any image you want. It could be this type of smile, it could be anything you want. Here is also the weight, depending on my sensor, the touch sensor, I'm putting the touch sensor, depending on when it's moving, anything it touches, it should show the picture, continue to move forward, still on my square button, so I have the touch sensor robot. And this is how to program a robot. After programming it, you come here to download it into your robot, making use of the USB cord that will be given to you. Then testing it, you have your robot program used and working in your robot. Thank you.